Jeff Disher here, and today I want to talk about why you are getting paid in direct proportion to the value or the problems that you can solve in society. Uh, I posted memes about it before on social, so I want to give a brief explanation of what I meant by that. What I don't mean is that one life is worth more than another. All right, so that's not what I'm saying at all, so I don't everyone, want anyone to take this the wrong way. What I'm saying is, in terms of your pay, your career, your job, what you contribute to society, the role that you play in this huge wheel that we call uh, community, whatever you want to call it, reality, you have to get paid so you can pay for your own goods, your own uh, rent, mortgage, whatever it may be, you have to become of some sort of value. So what's the basis value? I call a basis value graduating from high school. You have all the, the rudimentary uh, skills, writing, speaking, um, problem solving, you have the basis. And what does that mean? That means when you get out of high school, typically if you just jump out into the workforce, you usually start with the minimum wage job. So there could be just straight minimum wage. And why do they call it minimum wage? Because you're solving minimal problems. You're literally doing a job that pretty much all society can do. I don't know the percentages, it's probably in the 90 percentile that graduate from high school. That's your basis for learning, right? So you get out, the whole world can do that. The whole, at least United States, has that uh, amount of value. So you go out, you get a minimum wage job, you're getting paid for the least skill, the least problems, the smallest problems, call it sweeping the street, you're sweeping the street, call it washing dishes in the back of a restaurant. These are uh, low skill level positions. Anyone can do it. Anyone can go in there and wash dishes. Anyone can sweep the street. So what do you, you get paid for your value, which is minimal, okay? Now the bigger problems that you can solve, the more you get paid. So from a, a general consensus, just education in general. I'm not gonna talk about the millionaires and billionaires that never went to school, that created empires because they are all out there. Those are anomalies. I'm talking about the general consensus, consensus of the population. So. Once you get to your uh, graduate from high school, you typically, or the average person will go to get your bachelor's degree. What does that do? That increases your skill set, your skill, um, your value, and it allows you to get a better job and to solve bigger problems and use uh, more advanced skills than the people that graduated from high school. Then what happens? We see a master's degree. Again, you step up. You get paid a little bit more. Your skill set's a little bit higher. You can solve bigger problems. And last but not least, you have a PhD. Okay, you have a, a, a doctors, attorneys, people like this, and they typically, in general, get the paid the most across the scale. And then again, on the other side, you have the salespeople, people that didn't go to even high school, and there's, that's where I fall. I got my associate degree in uh, general education, which is pretty much nothing, uh, and then I went into the entrepreneurship, I became a personal trainer, got some certifications in personal training, got my broker's license, and went into real estate. So sometimes you don't need a formal education to, um, to live the life or uh, create the life you want, but you do need to trade or some set of skills or at least pay attention uh, and become an autodidact, which is um, learning yourself, reading your own books, watch your own YouTube, going out and, and finding the information that is interesting to you that you can apply, come up with new ideas and concepts, solve bigger problems, go out into society, make sure that they will com uh, compensate you for it and get paid more. So. That's what I mean. I mean by the more value you can bring, the more learning you've done, the more information you have in your noggin, the bigger the problems you can solve as a person, the more and the higher you get compensated for it from society. So just remember that. When you're sitting around thinking, God, I wish I could make more money, look at your skill sets. Look at your, your learning capacity. See where your education level is. Again, I'm not talking about traditional. It can be, but let's talk about how, much, how many books do you read? How often are you constantly trying to upgrade your um, computer up here. How much good, valuable information are you downloading into your mind to make yourself more valuable? So think about that. We all have the option to read more. Reading books are like a penny on Amazon. Everything's free on YouTube or the internet. So there's really no excuses. Instead of watching TV, read a book. Increase your skills in anything you do. Whether you're a mechanic or a real estate agent, or you're a doctor, nurse, a teacher, a steel worker, a concrete layer, anything you do, always work on improving your skills. Because the better your skills, the bigger the problems, the more you get paid. I know I'm redundant, but I wanna make sure I push that home. So if you have any questions, you guys know where to find me. Jeff Disher, I sell real estate, Instagram, 
Facebook and YouTube. And also be sure to click on and follow and listen to my podcast. You know where to find me. Jeff at Disher Group. DM me. See you guys soon.